Well, with all the breakthroughs and advances in medicine, it's hard to imagine a disease with no known treatment. That's reality for one Iowa family, but they're determined to find a cure, even if they have to do the work themselves. Channel 5 Outwitness News reporter Sunny Lane joins us with their inspiring story. Today, when the divorce rate weighs in around 50 percent, it seems the institution of family continues to crumble. But this Iowa family you'll soon meet has taken a near-death sentence and made everything around it live. Jenna Smith's mother often brings her breakfast in bed. But the luxury comes with an attachment, a permanent attachment. Like, I'm not normally afraid of needles, but I was freaked out because of the size of this thing. <laughs> because of her kidney failure, 20-year-old Jenna Smith undergoes dialysis three hours a day. Her father hooks her up to the dialysis machine in her bedroom at 5.30 each morning. I made it. Jenna tries to sleep through the process. She's endured long hours of dialysis for more than half her life, all the while watching her three other siblings live in freedom. At age seven, her mother says Jenna brought in the first sign of a problem after using the bathroom. She brought me a cup, a little bathroom cup, Dixie cup, filled with blood, just shocking blood. You knew something immediately was really, really wrong, and it was. After a series of tests, Jenna and her parents found out she suffered from a rare disease called MPGN type 2 or dense deposit disease, a genetic disorder which attacks the kidneys and could kill Jenna unless she spent her life on dialysis or received a transplant. You know, I remember you know, laying in the dirt and, and thinking there's nothing big enough to hold my sorrow. Soon after getting the diagnosis, Jenna's parents Lynn Lanning and Richard Smith found out almost no one knew about the disease, let alone a cause. They say so few people had the disorder, about one in one million, virtually no research existed. Feeling hopeless, Jenna's parents say they took their cue from Jenna herself. She doesn't ever complain. She's got, she's kind of got dealt a crummy hand of cards and serves as an example to her parents to not complain about things and just kind of move forward. Richard Smith says he knew he wanted to help somehow, but he found even if his family raised millions for the National Kidney Foundation, they could not earmark the money for a specific cause, meaning MPGN type 2 could exist forever without a cure. In 1997, faced with watching Jenna fade alongside a dialysis machine for the rest of her life, Smith and Lanning say they decided to take on the disease as a family. You know, if you want something done, do it yourself. And so the Landing Smith household set out alone to beat a little-known deadly disease. Till then, nephrologists, or kidney specialists, had performed what little research existed on MPGN type 2. Smith had no experience with kidneys. And then after it heals like that... But as the nation's the top pediatric ear, nose, and throat doctor at the University of Iowa, Smith says he had confidence he could learn. Lanning's registered nursing degree didn't hurt their mission either. That year, Lanning and Smith set up Kid Needs, a charity benefiting research of MPGN type 2. Since 1997, through grassroots fundraisers, they've raised a million dollars, which supports seven scientists' research in six different countries. As a family, we, com we collectively believe that we can do this. Aside from his duties as a doctor and professor, Smith also funds and performs his own research. Lanning, also armed with a law degree, spends her time running the charity. Jenna says her parents' love helps her conquer her disease every day. It just means everything. And it's, I couldn't do it without them. Smith says because of the intense focus of kidneys research, scientists have made a breakthrough. They've identified the cause of MPGN type 2, a malfunction of the kidney's defense system that causes the kidneys to clog and destroys their ability to clean blood. Smith calls it a huge find, but still not enough until they find a treatment. I wish sometimes we would move forward faster, but we're moving. She's everything. They all, each one of them are everything, our children. And uh, we're doing the best we can. As much as they enjoy having Jenna at home, parents Lynn and Richard say they look forward to Jenna living as they love her, free, with no attachments. Tonight we've seen how the family has stretched boundaries to find a treatment. Coming up tomorrow night on Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 10, see the Lanning Smith family go even further, putting life and livelihood at risk in the quest for a cure.
Chris. What an incredible family. Sonny, thank you very much. We continue our special series in this together with a look at how an extraordinary Iowa couple is putting their life and livelihood on the line to find a cure for their daughter's incurable disease. Channel 5 Eyewitness News reporter Sonny Lane joins us with their story. Imagine spending hours a day taking care of a loved one with a deadly disease and then finding out in order to give them a chance at life, you might have to risk your own to do it. How much would you give? 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 a.m. Mornings begin early in the Smith Lanning household. Parents Lynn and Richard start the day with a three-hour chore. Can you add another bag for me, please? Monitoring their daughter's dialysis takes time, but they insist they don't mind the work. In the day-to-day -day realization that this could be your last day with your child, makes you really appreciate your life. More than a decade ago, they received the news their daughter Jenna had a rare kidney disease called MPGN type 2, a condition leading to kidney failure and possibly death. Up till then, no one knew a cure. People that don't normally take your own needles out, this is how you do it. <laughs> Any chance she can, 20-year-old Jenna tries to laugh about her situation. She also looks for a chance at independence. Oh, not much. Wanting to find a way to improve and save Jenna's life, but finding next to no research on the rare disease, Lanning and Smith committed everything they had to finding a cure. We didn't know anybody with this disease, so who's going to want to sponsor research on this disease except for us? And so we accepted the fact that if we had to put all our savings on the line for this disease, that was something we would do. Adding to their personal contribution, the family of six began Kid Needs in 1997, a charity supporting research of Jenna's disease. Thank you, Dee. Yeah. I thought you'd finish that. With Dad as a pediatric doctor at the University of Iowa and Mom an attorney and a registered nurse, they felt hopeful they could make a miracle happen, even if they had to find it and fund it themselves. I mean, the money meant nothing to us if we lost our child in the process. But soon, Lanning and Smith would give more of themselves than they ever imagined. In her early teens, Jenna longed for the freedom a kidney transplant would bring. At first, her mother Lynn looked like the perfect candidate, but the night before the surgery, doctors said they needed a higher functioning kidney. I, it was everything I could do to get out of bed for about a day. How can it be I can't even give my child my kidney? I mean. I always assumed it'd be absolutely no issue. Not wanting to lose the surgery reservation, Jenna's dad volunteered his kidney. It turned out a perfect match. Jenna says her parents' unlimited love has given her strength to fight. They'll give an aspect of themselves so that they can help me. And they always say that they would give anything in the world to be in my place instead of me. And it just... Like, you don't really think of it at the time, <laughs> but they're just they're such thoughtful words. But the family's relief lasted only a moment. Jenna's deadly disease invaded her new kidney, but somehow the family still managed to put on a brave face. I mean, it still fit in, didn't work for very long, but it was, it was kind of a clunker, I guess. Jenna went back to dialysis and her family back to research. <laughs> They enlisted their community for countless fundraisers. Even though we only make a few thousand dollars a year, it's our pennies and our dollars go into the pot. Those pennies have now added up to a million dollars, 100% of which goes to seven scientists in six different countries. But as always, Jenna didn't want to sit back and watch others fight for a cure. The little side jobs, like I could help do that to make it go faster. She and her brother Luke began working in their father's laboratory, handling the DNA samples that might hold Jenna's cure. Jenna also found a way to set fire to the frustrations of her disease. Along with college, dialysis and lab work, Jenna runs two jewelry businesses. Jenna has earned $24,000 with her jewelry line, but she's put every last penny back into research. I will benefit in having a kidney someday and living by myself. So. Jenna says she learned the power of giving from her parents, who've given almost everything for her. We get back far more than we give. You put something out there, you give to somebody else, and maybe somebody will do that for you sometime. If it means keeping Jenna, parents Lynn and Richard say they don't mind if they have to keep giving no. for the rest of their life. 
And the Lanning-Smith family continue to give. They found part of their MPGN Type 2 research has unveiled information on fighting macular degenerative disorder or age-related blindness. Kidney's researchers hope to find a solid cure for MPGN Type 2 within four years.